degrees. Not bad, heading for a high today. The windman says 15 degrees. I say 18 degrees. Barbara, her prediction was 19. She's just got to get one higher than me. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Bit of a struggle right now. Tuesday, June the 16th. And uh, let's do this. Galaxy. That's right, and our first uh, first interview this morning, and it's been uh, a little while, about five months actually, uh, we caught up at Christmas time on the uh, Christmas special, being joined by Pete Wheeler from the band Durham County Band, coming out of Ontario. Well, I tell you what, let's do a little Valentine's Day, even though it's not Valentine's, let's do that, then we'll catch up live with Pete Wheeler, right here at Galaxy. <laughs> Oh, good. It's all good. Not good. Drinking, so. Your beard didn't get that much longer. I figured you'd have like the COVID beard going down. Oh, no, no. I've just been keeping it, you know, manageable. You've been trimming her up? Yeah, I've been, you know. <laughs> no. I don't want anybody slipping off it too fast. Oh, no, 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 no. It's like speed bump. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Slow things down just a little bit. Yeah, it does, you know. Everyone on Stripe. Besides, besides, with I'm a rubber band, you can make one of these things where you don't have to buy a mask. There you go. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> that's a handy, handy little thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's creative, don't you think? I do. I like that one a lot, man. <laughs> I don't think they'd let us around here. They just, uh, they just, uh, the health unit made us so anywhere you go in public right now, you have to wear a mask. Here's one for you, bro. Um, oh, and we, we have a member of parliament who is in charge of uh, the technical policing side of things, right? Yeah. And he came out publicly disgusted because he couldn't understand why his facial recognition equipment wasn't recognising faces lately. Not taking into account that, you know, everybody's wearing a bloody mask. We don't need to now. <laughs> oh, good lord. I mean, we pay this guy to be on it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Let's go live. Yeah. Okay. Let's go live, bro. Let's have some fun. Sure. Static. Yeah, you will do. I'm sorry, there's actually a new part on the way today, so sorry about that. You're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. It is 12 after 10 o'clock a.m. and 11.7 degrees Celsius here right now. Heading for a high, the weatherman says 15 degrees. I think we can do better, actually. I do. 18 is my prediction. Barbara says 19. But she's got to be one better, doesn't she? And uh, plenty of day to go. So we'll see how that goes. Tuesday, June 16th, and I'm absolutely elated to be joined coming out of Ontario. Yeah, Canada, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the place. Uh, of course, I'm being joined by Pete Weller live. Good morning, good afternoon, Pete. 
Good morning to you and good evening to me. Yeah, how's it going? Everything is going good there? Yeah, it is actually. It's going absolutely wonderfully. And uh, believe me, bro, uh, it is good to catch up with you again. I've got to welcome you back. You must be sadistic. Well, you know what? It was kind of sad because we, we were just talking just before we went live and we were going to come on for uh, Valentine's Day there and have uh, have a meet and greet uh, well, back at Valentine's, but we never got around to that because of all this hubbub that's going on. So it's kind of nice to start off the whole thing with uh, a little bit of Valentine's Day. Yeah, the pace. exactly. I kind, of, I kind of felt that we needed to catch up and we hadn't actually uh, got round to interviewing you about Valentine's Day. Such a great song. And believe me, going to be used for a millennia now here, especially on Valentine's Day. It's just one of those songs. Yeah. Um, but tell me about it, a little bit about it. How come you made a song about Valentine's Day? Not usually done yeah. by artists. You know what's funny about that one is that's a song that was um, Kip and James had written with a friend of ours, uh, Dan Ajois, and they had written it years ago. And it, it was one of those songs where, you know, sitting around the campfire, a few too many beers, everybody gets a little tipsy, and then you play around to that. And, and the song it always came out like, almost like it was supposed to be serious. So it was like a heartfelt love song. And uh, there was a night where Kip and I were sitting up at the, the other studio, and he brought it up. He just started strumming away at it, and I started laughing, and I'm like, you know, that's got it. It's an old Irish drinking song. Like, that's what I hear when you sing it. It's like, it's so tongue-in-cheek, and it's supposed to be, in my eyes, it's not serious. It's funny. And I started with the mandolin, like, and he stuck the grin, just kind of hit his face, and you could see that just struck a chord. Really, it just kind of hit, we hit him, and we laid that sucker down in probably an hour and a half, two hours, because we already known the song for so many years, it was just so much fun, and it was just like, because I can play the drums and the bass, and he plays guitar, and I play the mandolin, we had the, the whole structure of the song and put together in a, in a few hours, it was just one of those songs that just felt great, it was fun. You know, some of the best songs in the world have been done just like that, you know what I mean? And uh, I think this has the uh, uh, the place for it. And, and of course, as I said to you, longevity here, because we're going to play it forever, uh, especially on uh, Valentine's Day. But we love Durham, uh, Durham County Band anyway. We're kind of biased. You know what I'm saying? Well, we appreciate your support. That's awesome. I mean, that it's the, uh, the uh, anti-lovers or anti-Valentine's Day anthem for the ages, and that's really what it's supposed to be. It's not supposed to be mean and tell people that, you know, you should hate Valentine's Day. If you like Valentine's Day, hey, you know, but we've all, every single one of us, have had a Valentine's Day that that song fits. Yep, uh, i got to agree. And believe me, I can relate to it. Uh, a, lot of our, a lot of our audience can relate to it as well. Uh, believe me, we've had quite a few requests. I've been told about 1,300 requests. Uh, since we've been playing it, so uh, that's not that's bad, awesome. you know, that's not bad. Uh, having said that, uh, and believe me, uh, it, <laughs> it is a pleasure to be able to play it, even not on a Valentine's Day, um, as I said to you, it is a rather a strange one to be able to play. So have you got anything for Christmas in mind, maybe? I will send you a song. So Kip and I have a little side project that we do. And uh, we actually did a song, well, this is a bigger, bigger story, but Get Flirty, the new single, has Scott Woods on it. So Scott Woods is a, uh, the Canadian Grandmaster Fiddle Champion. Now, this guy has been the winner of the Fiddle Championship multiple, multiple times. I didn't know him from the holy ground, and he came over and laid some fiddle for um, Get Flirty, and I'm like, hey, I got this other song. It's not really Durham County Band, but it's just Kip and I, and we just kind of do the side thing. And I played it for him, and he played fiddle on it, and it was one of those ones where just the hair in the back of your neck just kind of stands up, and you kind of go, oh, yeah, that's that's what this song needed. And uh, that one's called Snow. You know, it's on, uh, it's on YouTube, I think. Yeah, it's on YouTube. You can look it up, page two. That's just Kip and I doing a couple of different things and stuff like that. But uh, beautiful fiddle on that one. And, uh, of course, 
amazing fiddle on Get Flirty, the new single, which is uh, a whole new thing. That one, Get Flirty is one of those songs. I wrote the entire first verse. We were at the, I was at the farm and I'm walking literally from the garden over to the cedars where we always sit in the cedars and cool off and the nighttime we sit at the fire there. But I had written that whole first verse walking from there over and we had this great, uh, I had this great fiddle idea in my head, but I can't play fiddle. Well, I didn't know Scott at the time or anything like that, so it was one of those things where I just kind of had it in my mind and I kind of knew what I kind of wanted and stuff, and it was really cool because um, our radio promoter, Debbie Wood, put us in the connection with Scott Woods, and Scott lives a block away from me, like literally three minutes away from my house. So I caught him, I kind of emailed back and forth, and I caught him, and uh, when he was off tour, he was so generous, he just said, hey, you know, sent me an email, I'll be back these days, can I come by? And I'm like, sure. And he came in and laid the fiddle for those, and yeah, it just sounds awesome. It's, a, it's more than what I could have expected, even in my twisted little mind. <laughs> I love that. I really, really do. And, uh, well, I, I tell you what, uh, 62 countries, 94 cities around the world right now tuned in, listening to us right here at Galaxy. And I've got to welcome everybody on Facebook Live as well. Thank you for joining us. And, sure. uh, of course, we've got Pete Wheeler and, believe me, very, very talented man. Let me run this down for you. Uh, he, he, until, uh, insanely talented, by the way. He's not modest at all. He's a vocalist, multi-instrumentalist, accomplished writer, producer, and, of course, uh, you know, an insanely talented studio engineer. My respects there, my friend. I'm a studio engineer as well, have done so. Uh, and uh, also front of house for a number of bands over the years. I've done it for many, many years. Uh, Kip Walker, let's go down yep. the list. Uh, guitar, vocals, and keys. Yep, he's the guy that rattles them at night in case prisoners just get lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Bronson Brown, bass, keys, and vocalist. Oh, I'd get two of his rattling. You know, good old prisoners okay. would love that. They're really, apparently, they don't have keys anymore in prisons. They have all cards and electronic stuff now. Uh, but, there you go. Uh, my brother went to went to jail for some time and came out. I couldn't help myself. I had to rattle the keys. My God! <laughs> did you did you have your coffee cup and like rake it across a few bars for him? Uh, let's put it this way: it was the first black eye I've ever received of my brother. <laughs> and well deserved, I might yeah, add. It was. It really was. <laughs> James Dunham, uh, now he's vocalist and guitars as well, you know, the, these guys are absolutely fantastic, so go out, have a look for Durham County Band. Now, how do we get hold of you, uh, Pete? How, how do we uh, find you on the interwebby stuff? Are you on All that interwebby stuff, I mean, the best thing is probably Facebook, we're on there quite a bit, um, we have Twitter and Instagram, but I mean, if you want to get a hold of us there... Obviously, our website is absolutely the best because we have um, our website up, DurhamCountyBand.com. Um, you can sign up for our mailing list, and I promise not to ever spam people. We barely send out one, in, one email every couple of months. And it's usually because there's a new song out or a new video or something that's of interest. Um, something that we're doing on the website, um, in lieu of because we can't go out and play live, we put all our songs as pay what you want. So you can go to the website and you can download the songs. If you don't want to pay anything, you don't have to. You have to sign up for the email list. We've got to get something. <laughs> but if you want to pay a dollar, you want to pay $10. Of course, if you want to pay a lot more, that just helps me get the studio done faster so I can get the next track out. You know, I love that. I really do. Do you have a merch store on there as well? Uh, we don't have a merch store on there right now. I do have um, shirts and hats available. The merch store will be coming, I'm going to say, a month or so. A month okay. and a half. The problem with merch with the shirts is it's always like, how many sizes and styles and, oh my gosh. But if somebody really wants a shirt, if you email me, I will get you a shirt. 
I, I tell you what, I wouldn't mind the shit, right? Just this. I'm going to put that on it. I, 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 I tell you why, and maybe if you want to throw in a couple of CDs or something like that, we wouldn't mind doing a giveaway, keep Durham County rolling here at Galaxy. Now, uh, as folks who are looking at me right now on Facebook Live might see that I'm actually on the Andreas Fault line this morning. Yes, Chris Andreas, I'm doing his nice. promotions, and believe me, subliminally, people do look them before you know it, you've got another 5,000 Facebook fans, and I'm not going to apologise, really, you know, it's going to... No, you shouldn't do that, keep, no need. Keep you, <laughs> keep you busy all day texting people, saying hello, <laughs> no, and, and, and it has happened in the past, I've got to be honest with you, one young lady says, yeah, I reply to everything, uh, she had about 7,000 people contact her, and she says it took her about a week to get through that. Constant. Wow, you know? that's awesome. Well, Chris has got some great tunes. I know his Chris's tunes, and I've heard his stuff. He's a great musician, great guy. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I make sure that people who have merch stores, stuff like that, Blake, you never know, you might actually make at least one dollar out of it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, it's a dollar a head, right? Exactly. Absolutely, and that's the best way to be. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, I love the way we segued into uh, Get Flirty earlier on. Now, I've got to be honest with you, my friend. I love this work. In fact, I think it's one of your best works to date. Uh, and Thank you. I listen to you in my car. I really, really do. I enjoy every part of this. And as I said to you, I'm an engineer as well, and not only a studio engineer, but a front of house as well. So I listen to it in a number of different ways, including being a DJ, not as a fan. Yeah. Couldn't fault this. Really couldn't fault this. I love this work. Now. That's awesome. I really, really appreciate that. So let's play this live to our audience right now who have tuned in, absolutely chomping at the bit to get a bit of flirty under their belts. So why not do it? What do you reckon? Yeah, it's time to get flirty, people. Here's Pete Wheeler and the Durham County band Get Flirty right here at Galaxy. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'll okay. um, talk to Barbara, talk to Barbara. <laughs> I'm always into it, but uh, talk to Barbara. I'll get him to send it to you, Yeah, I? okay. No, just get him to uh, tell me, because uh, we're, we're pretty booked up. It won't be next week we can release it. So it's been bloody surreal times, hasn't it? No. What's that? It's, it's been surreal times. Oh, man, I... Yeah. I'm not a, a conspiracy theorist kind of guy, and I'm not a I'm not a bandwagon jumper. And I, I honestly, I just don't know who to believe anymore. This goes back. Are you a Johnny Cash fan? Yes. Yes. What is truth? Yes. Right. This is this is a time where, like, uh, I just don't know who to believe anymore. You listen to one radio station, or I should like one newscast and another newscast, and they're saying the same story, but it's completely different spin. Yeah. It's 180 degrees. Yeah. And now I just I don't know who to trust. I don't know who to believe. Um, Dean, Dean Coates wrote a book many years ago, about 30 years ago, and it mentions COVID-19 in that. And Wuhan. It's called the Wuhan disease. That's what he described it as, and, and called it by name, COVID-19. Um, so, today folks who are watching us right now, live, um, you were brought to us by Sesame Street, the numbers 19 and the letters C-O-B-N-D. I did. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know who to believe anymore, man, it's just, like, you know, I don't even like to say anything because you can, you say anything and these people get mad or you say something and those people get mad and I just... It's a, it's a bad state of affairs for everybody. It is. Let's go back to the desk.
That's right, you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM and of course we're joined live by Pete Wheeler coming out of the band Durham County band making a lot of noise in Ontario too by the way. Uh, I just read in the news Humble House Plant sells for $6,500. That's a WTF for sure. <laughs> what the heck? Really? Yeah. yeah, somebody's got more money than sense if they're doing that. <laughs> That's correct. I'll say yeah, uh, get that person's phone number for me, will you? I've got a bridge that they can buy. That's right. Yeah, a big one. That's right. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. I really, really do. Uh, Pete, it is an absolute pleasure catching up with you again, my friend. And uh, uh, Absolutely. I'm just wondering when the next instalment's going to come our way. We would always, always love to be able to play new music. All right. Well, here's what we got planned. The whole plan for the summer went to heck, and yep. we all know why. So uh, we had a video shoot that was set for Get Flirty. Never happened. It was literally set up um, probably three and a half, four weeks before we released the song. Because you set these things up months and months and months in advance. Like, I mean, you got to have this thing all scheduled. So now our schedule's gone. But did you happen to catch the first episode of Durham County Band DCB style on YouTube? No, I didn't. No. Oh I... my gosh. Because you, you were the one that would kept talking to me about these bugs you eat that taste like peanut butter. That's you. Yep. That's on you. Yep. So you got to promise me you're going to go and watch the first episode of DCB style on our website, on the uh, YouTube website. It's a totally short one, but it's pretty funny and it'll work in with, you'll get it once you watch it. Okay. So we put that out instead of the actual video for um, Get Flirty, and we had a handful of episodes. So that was episode one. We pushed the whole schedule ahead. These weren't going to come out until later. I'm hoping episode two is going to come out, and it should hit YouTube and our website, of course. Um, I'm going to say early next week. Wow. Right. So that'll be episode two. Episode three is probably about three weeks out. And we've got a bunch of them that are shot, so we're just working on them and stuff like that. It's just us being who we are. We're a bunch of goofs, and, and we like to have fun. So they're short little videos that we put out, and uh, a lot of people have uh, enjoyed those. Um, I have uh, about a month go to go before the new studio should be ready, maybe a month and a half. I have written so many songs just in this little room that I have set up temporary. So I have a ton of songs. In theory, we should have an EP out by before Christmas. I'm going to say before Christmas. So we've never put out an actual physical CD because of the new millennia and the new age of music. It's like most people don't buy CDs, but we're going to put a collection together and uh, get that EP together for the end of the year. Uh, that'll have a bunch of the songs that you already been playing and probably two new ones, probably three. Nice. I'm excited. But I, let me uh, just, well, I'm still of a CD kind of guy. I like to be able to, even though that I've got all the techie stuff in the car to be able to play all the uh, Bluetoothy stuff, I still yeah. like to be able to put in a CD, if you know what I mean, and have a listen to the CD. A and I'm a big avid fan of old school kind of technology, even though, you know, CDs. Who would have thought that it would have been old school these days, really? Ah. I still like vinyl. The back wall of my studio will have this great big uh, shelf, and the whole bottom two rows is all albums. I still have vinyl. I have a ton of vinyl. I love listening to vinyl. And I have like, stuff there that you just can't get anymore, you know? I, and, uh, I did, Pete. I did. But guess what? The wife found my collection, and now it's a new artwork. <coughs> I'm not kidding. Um, <laughs> oh, no, man. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Uh, believe me, when you get the uh, video of this, you'll understand because uh, Barbara just took a... That's just one. 
We're talking a collection. There was, you know, lots of them, and uh, now the new artworks. And uh, only well, the old scratched ones. <laughs> no. You see, this is the thing with albums. There was something about, and you you know what I'm talking about. If you have a record, you take the record out, you put it on, and you listen to four or five songs, and you read the artwork, and you're reading stuff, and there was a, a there's something tangible or something different about that listening experience than it is. I went on Spotify and I hit random. It's a new world, I get it, and I'm, I'm glad that a lot of people are playing us on Spotify, and, and of course all our songs are there, so please hook us up, but it's really nice to grab an album, isn't it? It is. It really is, Pete, and believe me, uh, there's nothing like that sound of the stylus hitting the vinyl, you know, that kadoonk. Hit the groove. Yeah, absolutely. Love it, love it, love it. I really, really do. And, uh, well, Pete, uh, don't go anywhere just yet. We're going to have to wrap this up, unfortunately. Uh, but looking, looking forward to uh, catching up with you in the near future. And uh, we'll do this again with brands making new music at the same time. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Bring the guys. We'll uh, uh, catch up again and uh, have some fun. Let's hope that the summer, you know, you, there's something that can be made or rescued out of the summer because... Uh, here we've actually gone to level one, hopefully very, very shortly. We're going to be back to zero. We haven't had anybody uh, come down with any diseases other than uh, talking to me, unfortunately, for about 23 days now. So we're not doing too bad. That's awesome. Yeah. That's we're, awesome. We're quite proud of our efforts. We really are, to be very honest with you. Uh, only 21 dead total all the way through this. So uh, in, the, in the scheme of things, minor. Literally minor. Anyway, yeah. you're right here at Galaxy 107 FM. Here's Tommy James dragging the